Have you ever known someone who refused to change their mind, no matter how good the evidence was against them? I've talked to some people that have some crazy ideas, uh, things that we've got good evidence against, and yet sometimes people refuse to adjust what they believe based on the facts. In fact, it almost seems like they judge the facts based on what they believe instead of allowing what they believe to be based on the facts. Well, some people believe that that is what faith is. Some Christians feel like that's what faith is supposed to look like. And these people would be a fideistic in their worldview because they believe that faith doesn't need an evidential basis. But is that genuinely what Christianity is? And could Christianity be proven wrong? The Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter number 15 gives a defense of the resurrection of Christ. And he begins that chapter by defining the gospel as the death, burial, and the resurrection of Christ. And then he goes through and he gives many evidences for why you should believe that that is true. And then later in that chapter, the Apostle Paul points out that if no one rises from the dead, then Jesus didn't rise from the dead. And if Jesus didn't rise from the dead, then the Apostle Paul says the gospel is false. We are apostles of deceit. Those that died in Christ have died in vain, and we are of all men most miserable. In other words, the Apostle Paul is telling us that if the claims of the resurrection, that historical event didn't actually occur, then Christianity isn't true. In fact, this is a strength of Christianity because Christianity in the gospel itself is based on historical events that chronicle God's ongoing plan of redemption. The Apostle Paul is very clear in that passage that we as Christians hold to a worldview that is falsifiable. It is possible for Christianity to be proven false because it's based on actual events in history. And this is actually important for you and I to realize because it also means that it's possible for Christianity to be proven true. And as a result, you and I can provide evidence for our faith. So the Apostle Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 that the reason you and I should accept the gospel is because it's true.